Hey guys, Nathan here. Do you want to see something crazy? So this was shot on the Pocket 4K at 20,000 ISO. But here's the crazy part. One of those shots was done in the free version of Resolve. You know it's gonna be a good day when we're talking noise reduction and today is no different. But the thing is, Usually, when using noise reduction in DaVinci Resolve, you have to use the studio version, which I totally recommend, but some people just maybe don't have the cash for that, or it's just not in the cards right now. So I started looking into free noise reduction in DaVinci Resolve, and there's a bunch of videos claiming that it's just as good, and you can do a great job with it, so I thought, well, let's uh, put that to the test. But before we get into it, be sure to hit the like button and get subscribed for lots more videos like this. I put out two Resolve tutorials a week, every Monday and Thursday. And yeah, enough of me yammering, let's get into it. So here we are in DaVinci Resolve 16, and you can see this shot is super noisy. If we check out our RAW tab, it was shot in Blackmagic RAW at 20,000 ISO. So to start things off, we're gonna use the studio method. So we're gonna go into our motion effects. And if you want more info on how to set this up, check out my noise reduction video right up here. Anyway, I'm gonna go through super fast. We're gonna set up our Luma. And the way I'm just gonna do this real quick is look at the actual noise that I'm impacting using our highlights and our AB. And there's probably quite a bit of chroma noise in here. Great. Gonna go into our spatial noise reduction. Gonna use better and jack this up. Okay, great. Now we can check out the, this is the after and this is the before. So we've definitely made a big improvement. So you may be thinking, hey, that's the paid version. I wanna learn how to do it in the free version. Well, check this out. So we're gonna go over to our other clip that has nothing done to it and we're gonna go into the Fusion tab. So here we are in Fusion and I just wanna hit Shift Spacebar on my keyboard and I just wanna select the Remove Noise node. So we're just gonna add that in there, boom, easy peasy. So now you see softness for your red, green, and blue channels and detail for your red, green, and blue channels. So let's say we're going to soften our red channel and then we can also add detail to our red channel. But to keep things super duper simple, we can lock it off. So now we can just soften everything in the color channel and then also add some detail back. So you can kind of have a fine balance here and you can also go into your chroma noise potentially and we can unlock this to see your softness for your luma, your chroma and detail for your luma and chroma. So yeah, you can go through and definitely play with this. To keep things super duper simple in this video, we're just gonna lock everything. We're gonna jack this up a bit and then bring our detail up. So then you can just finesse that to your liking. So I'm just gonna play around with this a little bit more. Maybe bring our softness up a bit. And once you're happy with it, we can just pop out of here and make sure that your remove noise node is connected to your media out and it would just pop up in your edit page or color page. Now we have this and we can just toggle it by turning it off and then on again. So it's definitely making a difference and just jumping back between the two. So I'm gonna toss a side-by-side -side up on screen so you can judge for yourself, but this isn't a fair test. There's some color correction things that you can do to improve things a little bit and give it a fair chance. So what we're gonna do is we're going to go into our color wheels and we're gonna bring down our lift. Basically, we want to crush our blacks in this particular situation. So let's bring that down a little bit, bring our gamma down a scooch too, and bring our gain up just to see our skin a little bit better. And again, same thing with the shadows. We just want the darkest parts of the image really crushed down. And we can just copy this node and bring it over to the one with noise reduction on it. Boom. So now it's a bit more fair, but I gotta say, it just doesn't stack up. But this is an extreme worst case scenario, fire the camera guy kind of situation. Let's go with something a little more subtle. So now we have a scene that may look familiar to you and we're just gonna start this and play and you can see if we zoom up in this corner here, you're definitely gonna see a lot of noise kicking around in my shot. Now hopefully this shows through YouTube's compression. I'm just gonna zoom up a bit more and you can definitely see those dancing pixels there. So what we wanna do is we wanna address that. Well, let's start off again using noise reduction. We wanna do it at the beginning of our nodes. We're gonna hit Shift S and pop that sucker on at the beginning. We'll go into our noise reduction and just the same as last time. We just wanna see what we're impacting. 
So I wanna grab our lumen noise and we'll grab some chroma noise. Yeah, that looks pretty good. See, we're grabbing all that noise and we are smoothing it out. So we're gonna zoom out here and now, so now we have the same clip, no noise reduction applied. We're gonna come into fusion here and same idea of one hit shift space bar on our keyboard and remove noise. We're gonna add that sucker in and it's the same idea. Now this is working with the source clip, which is exactly what we want because we want to be at the beginning of our node pipeline. So that's great. And we'll just do literally the same thing. We're gonna lock off our color, bring up our softness and bring up our detail and just kind of play with it so that you find something that kind of works for you. And again, if you want, you can go in more detail and go maybe channel specific, but for the color, I like to keep it uniform. However, when dealing with chroma, I find that you can really soften up your luma or your chroma noise, and that is kind of helpful. So, you know, we're gonna go through and just dial this in to where we want it. Okay, so once you're happy, you can just go back into the color page and we can see what we're dealing with here. So let's check out that dirty corner up there. Just gonna zoom up and see how it looks. So this is done on the free version and it actually, it looks pretty darn good. And you can check out the side by side here to see what you think. Now I'm gonna be honest and give you my opinion. I think it can work in a pinch, but it's not gonna save your shots. I think ultimately it's just blurring your image and it's adding some detail back in, but it doesn't do it as well as the noise reduction feature built into the studio version of Resolve. But if noise reduction is a super important feature to you and you just can't afford to buy the studio version of Resolve, this could be a valid option in some situations. So anyway, folks, I hope that helps you out in trying to use noise reduction with the free version of Resolve. And maybe it's up to snuff for you or maybe it's not quite there. It's whatever works for you. Anyway, if you like this video, be sure to leave a like and get subscribed for lots more and yeah, have yourself a good one. Okay, bye.